Hey friends, I am Dr. B.V. Rao of Ushra Clinic and founder of the websites QMedicalDoubts.blogspot.in and RaghavaMedicalDoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicals. Today I am going to discuss about the injuries of muscles, tendons and bursae. Injuries of muscles and tendons. Injuries of uh, muscles, uh, confusion of muscle, it usually results from the direct injury localized pain on movement occurs. There is an extravasation of uh, blood within the sheath of the muscle, usually at a distance from the Injury management rest and pressure dressings uh, for the first two days to prevent the further extravasation. Gentle movement uh, will improve absorption of blood, prevent or uh, limit subsequent stiffness. Spontaneous injury in sports and uh, direct confusion can cause. Uh, a rupture of some deep fibers of quadriceps with a hematoma on the anterior aspect of femur. If too vigorously managed and uh, passively stretched, may result to a myositis ossificans. A rupture of a muscle. The rupture of muscle may occur at uh, the junction of the tendon or the muscle itself. For example, the quadriceps extensor uh, ruptures immediately above the patella occurs in elders often after a trivial uh, indirect injury such as stumbling. The gap is uh, easily visible and palpable when the patient uh, contracts uh, quadriceps muscle. The patient is unable to actively extend the knee. Treatment. A repair with mattress stitches is uh, necessary. A rupture of the muscle belly of a rectus uh, femoris occurs at about uh, mid thigh level. It is common in young athletes caused by indirect violence uh, during very great effort. Extension of the knee is uh, still possible after the pain of the rupture has subsided. When local edema has subsided, the proximal ends of the muscle will become prominent and stand out as a visible lump when the patient contracts the thigh. It won't cause a permanent disability, so treatment is not necessary and not feasible. A rupture of tendons. Normally, tendons rarely rupture. If occurs in, in or after middle age and often associated with a local attrition by friction against the bone. The exemption is a mallet's finger. The Achilles tendon is, is the commonest tendon to rupture. It is common in elderly males Though common in uh, any any games, uh, most common in stumble when the violent contraction necessary to regain balance uh, causes the rupture. Rupture occurs about 1 to 1.5 inches uh, above the insertion of tendon into the oscalis. Clinically, a gap is easily palpable at the site of rupture. In early cases, this is uh, sometimes uh, even visible. The foot is uh, dorsiflexed. The power of plantar flexion is uh, reduced. Treatment. Early suturing of the tendo achilles gives uh, excellent results, but uh, late suture is uh, disappointing. Tendon of long head of biceps. It is sometimes torn where uh, the tendon is uh, frayed in, in the bi bicipital group in the case of uh, osteoarthritis of the shoulder joint. On flexion of the forearm, 
the soft muscular belly is uh, drawn downwards towards the elbow treatment by suturing is always not successful and unnecessary in elderly rupture of the tendon of uh, supraspinatus it is common accident in middle aged persons and uh, may occur after a trivial injury abductor longus it sometimes partially avulsed while uh, riding a frisky horse myositis ossificans may supervene tetanus strychnine poisoning may cause uh, such violent contractions that rupture the rectus abdominis extensor longus pollicis a rupture of this tendon is the occasional sequelae of a pollis fracture mallet's mallet's finger baseball finger it is uh, due to avulsion of an extensor tendon of the finger which occasionally include a small flake of bone from from the base of the distal phalanx treatment the finger is uh, splinted in a position of a uh, right angled flexion at the proximal interphalangeal joint with a hyper extension of the terminal interphalangeal joint so that the central slip of the extensor tendon is uh, flexed but the treatment is uh, not satisfactory long extensor of thumb this is common in women some months or years after a colis fracture there is a sudden inability to extend the terminal joint of the thumb the extensor tendon is frayed in the distorted canal of the on the dorsal surface of the radius treatment by transferring into it the tendon of extensor indices propius tennis elbow it is a painful disorder of the aponeurotic fibers through which the common extensor origin is uh, attached to the external epicondyle no recognizable histological uh, abnormality is present the condition sometimes starts spontaneously clinically the patient complains of uh, pain on the outer aspect of the elbow when lifting even small objects by dorsiflexion of the wrist no pain by lifting heavy objects with a straight elbow there is a point of tenderness over the external epicondyle treatment many methods of treatment have been tried with varying degrees of success short wave diathermy local anesthetic injection manipulation excision of the tendon uh, tender area with a uh, uncertain result local injection of uh, 25 mg of uh, hydrocortisone produces a cure within 3 days it suggests that uh, it may be due to collagen degeneration after 6 to 12 months there is a spontaneous remission hernia of a muscle due to tear of the muscle sheath the muscle mass may become out of out of the tear usually the abductor and the biceps brachii are affected on uh, contraction of the muscle fibers protrude through the tear treatment if uh, disability ensures the sheath is uh, sutured if sheath is minimal may recover spontaneously displacement of tendons the tendons uh, traverse fibro fibro osseous canals as in the region of wrist ankle or the long head of biceps in the arm sudden pain followed by a sensation of uh, weakness and uh, increase of pain on movement the displaced tendon if uh, superficial can be palpated example peroneus longus 
treatment. It should be immobilized for for uh, eight weeks. It may recur or uh, persist. Tendon is uh, fixed in position. A flap of uh, periosteum is uh, raised from the bone in order to form a tunnel for the tendon. Collagen degeneration in tendons. Tendon contains a chemical substance called collagen which possesses a specific uh, molecular structure and uh, that the very large and complex uh, molecules arrange themselves in parallel fibers which can be dissolved into a homogeneous solution by chemical means and re-precipitated to reconstitute the original fiber pattern. Localized area of degeneration of collagen can occur in a tendon called tendinitis, supraspinatus tendon of shoulder, etc. Frozen shoulder, periarthritis of uh, shoulder. It uh, starts suddenly, insidiously, and uh, more at night. Loss of external rotation and uh, abduction. The capsule adheres to the articular cartilage of the head of humerus, like a postage stamp. Diagnosis made by X ray with the absence of uh, destruction changes. If untreated, may be cured spontaneously in three years. Treatment. Mild cases are uh, treated by heat exercise and uh, analgesic with uh, marked restriction of movement, manipulation under anesthesia followed by heat and exercise is recommended. Hydrocortisone injection 0.25 mg at the site of uh, Manipulation is of value for post-operative pain. Supraspinatus tendinitis Painful disorder localized uh, to supraspinatus tendon evokes a spasm of the pain in the middle range of abduction. On attempt to slowly lower the arm, a sudden spasm of pain will cause uh, to drop the limb. Supraspinatus tendon spontaneous rupture. The rupture may occur when the patient is uh, performing sudden movement against uh, resistance with the arm above the head. In elderly, partial tear are uh, common and though not healed, active activity is resumed. Treatment. Rehabilitation is a uh, Enough for recovery, complete tears may need uh, suturing, calcification of supraspinatus tendon, the accumulation of a uh, chalk-like uh, deposit of cal calcinosis in the tendon when extrudes spontaneously into sub-subchromial bursa. Pain starts. X-ray confirms the diagnosis. Treatment. In rare cases, uh, surgery may be necessary. Most cases respond to heat, analgesics, and exercise. Tendon sheets. Tenosynovitis. Tenosynovitis is commonly seen in uh, connection with the extensor tendons of the hand or uh, Achilles tendon. Pain and local edema are present. Soft Crepitus is uh, palpable when fingers are moved. Treatment. Adequate rest for uh, extensors of uh, wrist. Fixation in plaster. Plaster required if recurs. Acute superative tenosynovitis. It is either due to wound from the whitlow or blood bond. Se uh, severe pain on movement. Superation extends along the sheet. Treatment. Early incision is recommended, otherwise uh, sloughing of tendon is likely. Full and appropriate antibiotic is uh, imperative. Tuberculous tenosynovitis. 
it is of two types the endothelial lining of the sheath is uh, replaced by edematous granulation tissue containing uh, military miliary tubercles very little free fluid present a, a soft uh, elastic swelling appears and if the disease uh, progresses pus may form and uh, track into the neighboring sheaths or joints then effusion occurs in the tendon sheath and uh, melon seed bodies are usually present in large numbers so that a soft coarse crepitus is uh, detected on pressing fluid from one part of the sheath to the other the term compound palmar ganglion is applicable applied to this condition when it occurs in connection with the flexor tendons of fingers a soft painless swelling appears and a fluctuation may be transmitted above and below the anterior annular ligament as with all forms of uh, tuberculous disease of bone joint or tendon wasting of edge, adjacent uh, muscles is present treatment general measures plaster cast if a condition progresses careful dissection and removal of the disease sheath is indicated stenosing tenosynovitis tendo vaginitis or dickvarian disease it is a fibrous thickening of the sheath of tendon and at the wrist is characterized by thickening and tenderness immediately above the radial styloid process common in abductor pollicis longus and uh, extensor pollicis brevis treatment insertion of the thickened sheath under the local anesthesia and uh, suturing the skin skin only trigger finger it is uh, affecting the flexor tendon of the thumb due to the con- constriction of a fibro osseous tunnel at uh, metacarpophalangeal joint treatment cured by slitting the fibro osseous tunnel at uh, constriction carpal tunnel compression it is uh, due to the compression of the med- median nerve in the wrist at the site of the carpal tunnel the patient is usually a middle aged female and uh, frequently has bilateral symptoms though one side may be more severe burning and uh, pins and needles is the main complaint and worst at night on awakening and uh, at work the fingers are stiff impairment of uh, sensation in some cases impairment of sensation detected in thumb index and the middle finger some may find abnormal sensation in all the fingers treatment decompression of the tunnel by the longitudinal ventral incision a simple ganglia a tense swelling in connection with a tendon or capsule of a joint with a clear gelatinous uh, liquid inside commonly found on the dorsum of the wrist and foot treatment aspiration with a white bore needle and uh, injection of a uh, sclerosing agent followed by palm pressure for few days if a uh, recurs excision is the choice but with the possibility of a recurrence sometimes may disappear spontaneously tumors tumors of tendon sheath occurs in the form of a synovioma these uh, may be innocent or malignant foam cells or uh, characteristic which are large and spheroidal and uh, contains uh, numerous uh, fat droplets cut tendon it is uh, due to open wounds of hand 
and fingers. Inappropriate uh, treatment uh, may cause uh, disability. Immediate repair is indicated in uh, competent surgeon and uh, instruments are ready. The wound is not contaminated and uh, within six hours elapsed. There is no loss of skin or damage to the bones and joints. If not, the wound is uh, closed and treated. Suturing done after the lapse of uh, four weeks. If lapsed more, repair may not be possible and uh, grafting may be needed. Flexor tendon. Immediate suture yields uh, good results. If uh, profundus and uh, sub sublims are uh, divided, the profundus only is a suture. Repair of both may produce adhesion and cause a impairment of function. So tendon grafting is ideal. Tendon sutures. A bloodless field is obtained by tourniquet incision made in the natural crease of the hand. Suture material is a 4-0 gauze stainless steel wire threaded into a traumatic needle. If needle not available, the tendon can be transfixed by a hypodermic needle along the lumen of which the wire is uh, threaded and the needle is then withdrawn. The measures to prevent adhesion by insulate insulating tendon with the uh, flaps of fascia. Tendon grafting. It is necessary if uh, excessive retraction has occurred, part of tendon destroyed of if suture of a finger is uh, needed in the danger area, the palmaris longus or extensor uh, indices are not suitable in the hand or uh, grafts may be taken from the long extensor tendons of toes. The parotenone is uh, included with the graft. Free exposure is necessary. Preservation of uh, reconstruction of the fibrous sheath over the interphalangeal joints is important so that there is a bowstring of the tendon is inflection. Tenotomy and uh, tenon, uh, tendon lengthening. Tenotomy is uh, needed to correct uh, deformities caused by spastic spastic condition of the muscle or by rigid contractures. It is a oldest method and done by subcutaneous uh, puncture in order to reduce the possibilities of sepsis. Subcutaneous stenotomy is uh, used where the exact amount of uh, elongation is uh, not important. Examples are stenotomy of uh, tendo achilles for uh, correction in spastic paralysis and uh, club foot. To correct fixed equinus deformity, this is usually done by open operation and uh, jet method of uh, lengthening enables exact uh, elongation to be obtained so that the equinus deformity is not made into a calcaneous deformity. Sternomastite. Tendon uh, need a division in some cases of uh, tortic torticolis. Here simple division is uh, necessary and uh, elongation by a predetermined amount is not wanted. And abductor tendons of uh, thigh are usually tenomized near their attachment to the pubic bone which is done by subcutaneous puncture with a narrow bladed tenotomy knife. Shortening of a tendon. It is uh, accomplished by a jet method. The two halves of a tendon 
after separation or shortened as required and the tendon is then sutured tendon transplantation it is uh, performed in order to restore uh, muscle balance or to supplement uh, the action of ligaments inflammation of uh, muscles acute superative myositis the primary lesion is an almost uh, unknown condition collection of pus in the muscle in the course of uh, pyemia but there are silent often mimicking a tuberculous cold abscess rheumatic myositis the pain and stiffness of muscle as in stiff neck or lumbago no histological abnormality is discovered in the tissues present tendency is uh, swinging to the belief that uh, most of the acute muscle pains are uh, due to the reflex guarding of uh, mechanism evoked by a sudden derangement of an uh, underlying disc which was the same uh, dermato innervation treatment radiant heat and uh, short wave diathermy counter irritation with the uh, embrocation aspirin and anti rheumatic mixtures and rest are still the most effective remedy <coughs> traumatic myositis ossificans occurs due to the direct uh, contusion to brachialis muscle after dislocation of elbow and uh, quadriceps of thigh elbow becomes thick and uh, a palpable uh, deep thickening can be detected in front of the elbow x-ray lateral view shows a hasty new bone formation four weeks after the injury treatment applying a string to avoid strain such as uh, weight lifting or uh, deep friction massage generalized myositis ossificans it is a rare muscle become uh, gradually into bones commence in the flat muscles of the back then spread to the spinal and uh, thoracic muscles slowly whole body becomes rigid called poker man trichiniasis nematode worms obtain access to the elementary canal in the infected pore the embryos of the worms uh, find their way to the striated muscle via lymphatics and the muscle becomes uh, painful and indurated and the migration of the embryos uh, continue during uh, which period eosinophilia is present the embryos become encysted pers perish or calcify treatment is symptomatic syphilitic myositis it may occur as a localized gamma particularly in the sternomastoid muscle or tongue an indurated swelling appears which gradually involves the overlying skin or mucous membrane example parenchymatic glossitis and uh, tongue becomes uh, fibrotic tumors of muscles innocent lipoma and fibroma occasionally occurs malignant primary fibrosarcoma is a common finding failure to identify may turn into recurrent uh, fib- fibroids a slowly growing swelling appears which is a uh, form circums- circumscribed and uh, connected with a wide margin of uh, surrounding muscle secondary invasion of muscles sometimes occurs as pectoralis major from carcinoma of breast diseases of bursa injury 
acute traumatic bursitis follows injury and uh, may also follow un unaccustomed exercise. Chronic bursitis is the result of uh, repeated slight injuries or uh, constant uh, pressure. Enlargement of semi-membranous bursa. It is common in children. Most cases disappear spontaneously. If disability results, aspiration is performed. Communicating with the knee joint may result as osteoarthritis of the knee. Becker's cyst. Becker's cyst is an overflow of uh, synovial fluid from the osteoarthritis knee joint. Though a herniation of the synovial membrane through the capsule, adventitious bursae form as a result of a prolonged pressure over bony prominences. Example, Balling's gate hump due to the pressure of the fish basket over the seven cervical spinous process. Example, bunion on the big toe. Infection of bursae, acute suppurative bursitis. It is due to penetrating wounds or uh, from local subcutaneous infection and involvement of uh, pre-patellar bursae. Treatment, chemotherapy is uh, en encouraging but uh, if uh, pus is present, drainage may be necessary. Chronic infection, chronic infective bursitis. It may be pyogenic, tuberculous or uh, syphilis. Bunion. This is an uh, adventitious bursa. It is a uh, sterile, get infected, uh, runs a recurrent course, flares up, discharge pus. Treatment, local heat, rest, antibiotic, prevention of recurrence is uh, by surgery in a crescent phase. Tuberculous bursitis, two types. Effusion contains melon seed uh, bodies. In the other, bursa lined with uh, granulation tissue may progress to abscess abscess formation and then fistula. Treatment is by a complete excision of the bursa. Syphilitic bursitis occurs during the second stage, gives rise to transitory and often symmetrical effusion. During the tertiary stage, a local gamma or a diffuse gammatous bursitis are rare manifestations. New growth of bursa, an endothelium uh, from the lining membrane or uh, fibrosarcoma from the wall occurs as a curiosity. That's all about the injuries of muscles, tendons, bursa. In the next video, I will discuss about uh, some other disease. Thank you.